give you all the glory and all the power. We give you all the glory and all the power. Thank you for your praise. Your name be exalted. Your name be lifted. Your name be lifted high. Your name be lifted high. Your name be lifted high. Asante Baba. Thank you for Koke Asifa. Sivo de Glo. Koke Heshima. Sivo de Ola. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Tumpigie Yesu makofi mazuri. Let us give a hand clap to the Lord. Tumpigie Yesu makofi mazuri. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We are blessed this afternoon. Tumebarikiwa mchana wa leo to have our papa and our mama kuwa na baba yetu na mama yetu in the house katika nyumba and and i don't want to continue from there na sitaki kuendelea hadi hapo i'll catch up later nitashikilia baadaye so at this juncture I want to take this opportunity to allow our mama to come. All said and done. It must be rubber stamped. Hallelujah. If we are okay, she will say. That's why I'm saying, let me sit. I will come back later. I'm taking this opportunity to bring my mother so that she can come and continue from there. Amen. We love you, Mama. You feel very much welcome. In him we move and live and have our being. And without him we can do nothing. So we give him all the praise. Let us give him another praise. And because of him, na kwa sababu yake, we can endure the heat. Basi tunaweza kutulia chini ya uzito joto hili. Because of him, kwa sababu yake, we can sit here for hours. Tunaweza kukaa kwa masaa in this intense heat. Kwa joto hili jingi, and we will be comfortable. Na basi tutakuwa tumetulia. Because Jesus, maana Yesu, is in the house. Yuko kwenye nyumba. And when Jesus is in the house, kwa sababu Yesu yuko kwenye nyumba. outside cannot overtake us. How many people are feeling good like me? You know, I always say atmospheres are created. If we come to church and we just sit lazily and uh, um, Intentionally, that is how the service is going to be. Basi kama tunasema tutakuja kanisani tuketi hivi hobela hobela tu. Haba si bada itakuwa hivyo hivyo. But we can create an atmosphere here. Lakini kwa uweza kuunda anga fulani hapa. That the spirit of God can move freely. Amba rowa mungu waneza tembea kuhuru. Because God meets the expectations of his people. Mana mungu kutana na matarajio ya watu waki. How? How many came expecting something from the Lord? From the Lord, your expectation will not be cut off. So create an atmosphere. Doesn't matter what you are going through. It doesn't matter what went wrong before you came here. I want to tell you that it is well with your soul. It is well with your soul. 
If the devil could not stop you from coming, kama shetani hakukuzuilia kufika hapa. He cannot stop you from getting your blessing. Basi hawezi kukuzuilia kupata hatima yako. He cannot stop you from recovering. Basi hawezi kukuzuilia kwa wewe kupata urejesho. Covering everything that you have lost. Basi kupata urejesho chochote ulichokipoteza. Your leader recovered all. Basi kiongozi wako alirejesha vyote. Lilian Dada yetu Lilian he, she saw it in the dream basi aliona kwenye ndoto and it happened in the physical na basi kaonekana kwa asili so whatever you lost basi chochote ulichopoteza and whatever you feel like you are about to lose na chochote unahisi kwamba unaenda kukipoteza i want to assure you nataka kukuhakishia the spirit of the lord kwamba roho wa Mungu has already ameta tayari given us an assurance amepatia thibitisho that we are going to recover all kwa tutaenda kurejesha vyote now let us Now let us create the atmosphere for recovery. Sasa wacha tukaunde ile anga ya urejesho. With your hands lifted up. Kwa mikono yako kuinuliwa juu. Clapping over your head. Ukipiga makofi juu ya kichwa chako. And shouting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And before you sit down, kabla haujaketi chini. I want you to turn to seven people. Nataka ugeukie watu saba. And tell them it is well with your soul. Nawaambie ni sawa na nafsi yako. Seven people, seven people move watu around. Saba. Tembe, move around tembe, and tell tembe. seven people. Nawaambie watu saba. It is well with your soul. Kwamba ni sawa na nafsi yako. It is well with you. Kwamba ni sawa na wewe. It is well with your children. Ni sawa na watoto wako. It is well with your husband. Ni sawa na mume wako. It is well with you ni sawa na wewe it is well with your business ni sawa na biashara yako it is well with your finances ni sawa na fedha zako it is well ni sawa tu it is well ni sawa tu it is well ni sawa tu praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe and give them a nice smile na wapatie tabasamu njema give them a nice smile wapatie tabasamu nzuri if you are a nice smile patia jina yako tabasamu nzuri as an assurance kama thibitisho Bwana Yesu every time we gather kila mara tunapokusanyika our neighbors must know we are gathering basi majirani wetu lazima wajue tunakusanyika our city must know we are gathering basi mji wote lazima ujue tumekusanyika because there shall be shouts of victory maana kutakuwa na shangwe za ushindi in the camp of the righteous katika kambi ya wenye haki that is our signature basi hiyo ndio signature yetu that we are gathering kwamba tumekusanyika so every time you come basi kila mara unapokuja jo ukiwa tayari to make some noise fanya kelele fulani to make some noise fanya kelele fulani may the lord bless you mungu awabariki you may be seated naweza kuketi and very quickly na kwa haraka tu i want to find out who is here nataka kutambua ni nani aliye mahali hapa and we are going to do this very fast tutaenda kufanya hii kwa haraka mno um, i want to see the sisters from West together with the branch churches. Nataka kuona wadada kutoka magharibi. As I mentioned you just na makanisa ya upande ule. West center plus your branch West churches na makanisa yenu. Wow. 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 That is a big number. Basi hiyo ni nambari kubwa. Let us clap for them. Hebu tupigie makofi. Welcome to Supernatural Saturday. Karibuni katika Super Natural Saturday. I received a message from your mother. Na basi napatia ujumbe kwa kutoka mama yenu. I received a message. Nilipokea ujumbe. She traveled. Yeye alisafiri. But she told me. Kini aliniambia. My daughters will be there. Mabinti zangu watakuwa pale. And here they are. Hawa ndio walio. Welcome to Super Saturday. Karibuni katika Super Saturday. This first one of the year. Basi katika mwaka huu wa kwanza. You may be seated. Naweza kuketi. Okay, can I see the ladies from Baxter together with your uh, with your branch church. Wadada kutoka Stand up Baxter, quickly, Baxter you are Baxter. the host. Nyinyi ndio. These are our hosts. Hawa ndio wametukaribisha. Oh my goodness, Baxter what happened? 
Bastan. You are not here. Lift up your hands. Add to your height. You are already standing, but I can't see you. Amen. It is like the West. Ni kama vile wa West. Tuwapigie makofi host wetu. Wamejaribu sana. They have really tried. Wamejaribu sana. I know there are thousands if not hundreds. Ninajua kuna maelfu. Hundreds of women in Baxter. Na mamia ya wanawake hapa Baxter. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. They are represented. Wamewakilishwa. Uh, I want to see Ladies from the south together with the branch churches. South, as I mention your name, you just stand up. We don't have a lot of time. The ferry didn't cross. Lift up your hands on top of standing up. I want to be sure. Oh my goodness, that is not good at all, Pastor Catherine. Uh, that is a drop in the sea in the south. Basi. Sindio? Yeah, it's a drop in the sea. Uh, that they, they dropped in the sea. Walianguka <laughs> baharini. Praise the Lord. No, they didn't drop in the sea. They quammed on the other side. Praise the Lord. Let us give them a hand clap and a welcome. You see, even if it is one person that came, the sender is represented. And that one person deserves an appreciation. Let us appreciate those who came. Let us appreciate those who came. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to see a capital center together with the branch church they have tried so much they come from the farthest and I can see two uh, great leaders the leader of the women and the pastor's wife of the center Mrs. Gashara is here Mrs. Gashara is here love to the Lord and welcome Karibuni sana. Karibuni sana. Welcome, welcome. Do we by any chance have Tala Center? What was Tala? Tala Center. Did they send a representation? I don't see any. See we appreciate them. They are the farthest from here. Praise the Lord. Uh, now I want to see the headquarters. Ah, kile kituo kiku. The headquarters kituo in kiku. Bamburi. Bamburi Bamburi together with your branch churches Are you here? Yeah. Bamburi Center Bamburi Center Bamburi Center Bamburi. Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Let us clap for them Praise the Lord They are number one but they are a drop in the sea. Compared to their numbers, they have not done well. Lillian, that is where the seat of the lead leader. The overall, the overall of the women ministry. That is where she comes from. So I expected a number that will really shake the day. All the same, let us appreciate them. Again. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. As women ministry, this is our unity service. You see the unity services that we do? We as women ministry, supernatural Saturdays, are our unity service. And I want to thank the leadership, the central leadership, not the central. Lillian, what is the group that you lead? What it, the central is my team. What is your team called? Executive. I want to uh, 
thank the executive board basi nataka kile viongozi wa kuu they have loaded me of the planning of this super saturday waliniondoa mzigo wa kupanga hii super natural saturday they have been sitting na wamekuwa kikaa together with my assistant robina mwanjala na msaidizi wangu robina mwanjala planning for this day wakipanga siku hii and making sure that it is facilitated for na wakihakikisha kwamba imeshughulikiwa vilivyo in every need that the day has katika kila hitaji ambapo siku ingehitaji can we clap for the leadership the executive board kwa pigie wa kuwashkadau executive board you are not clapping nicely no pigie i want to appreciate them nataka kuwa enzi for the great work that they have done kwa ile kazi njema wanaifanya and planning and bringing the women that have come today basi kupanga na kuleta kina mama ambao wamefika siku ya leo praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe i want to say one thing or two nataka kusema jambo moja ama mawili that as women ministry kama huduma kina mama the lord has given us the ability mungu ametupatia uweza to do great things kufanya mambo makubwa we are actually operating below our ability hata hivyo tunatenda kazi chini ya viwango vyetu and as we gather here today na tunapokusanyika leo i just want to put emphasis nataka kutilia mkazo on the things that have been said here ya mambo ambayo yamenenwa hapa from the uh, ministry of uh, the sako kutoka na huduma ya sako which is our economic arm ambao ni kitengo chetu cha uchumi and also from the, mini, the uh, spiritual arm na hata kile kitenge chetu cha kiroho that we need to come together na tunastahili kuja pamoja as women ministry kama huduma kina mama and do great things na kutenda mambo makubwa we are in the kingdom tuko katika ufalme for the purpose of having an impact in the kingdom kwa, kwa kusudi la kuwa na mguso katika ufalme don't allow yourself usijiruhusu to stand aloof ah kukaa kando and watch from a distance na utazame kutoka mbali get involved wewe ingia ndani na ushughulike in whatever we are doing kwa kile ambacho tunashughulika nacho together with the women that you know influence them basi washike kina mama ambao unawajua and together na pamoja let us do what god has called us to do wacha tufanye kile mungu ametuitia tukifanye did you know we are in this world for a for a period of time unajua tuko katika ulimwengu huu kwa wakati we not be here forever hatutakaa hapa milele as individuals kama kibinafsi and collectively na hata kwa pamoja we will not be here forever hatutakaa hapa milele let us use the time that god has given to us wacha tutumie ule wakati mungu ametupatia to have an impact kuwa na mguso let your life have an impact wacha maisha yako yakawe na mguso and one way of having an impact basi njia moja kuwa na mguso is joining yourself together basi ni kuunganika pamoja with the, with the with the sisters and the brethren in the household of faith basi na wadada na wapendo katika nyumba ya imani and be involved in what they are doing na ukashikamana na kile wanachokifanya wanachofanya kazi we all register in the circle basi kama sisi sote tutajiandikisha ama kujisajili kwa ile sako very very strong movement basi tutakuwa na mguso mkuu and we will be empowered na basi tutatiwa nguvu economically kiuchumi to better our lives kuje, kuboresha maisha and yetu and to better the ministry that god has put us in na basi kuboresha huduma ambayo mungu ametuweka ndani yake to advance the kingdom of god ili kuende kuendelesha uh, kazi ya mungu so i challenge you basi nopatie changamoto to get involved basi wewe shikamana you have been given the direction on how to do that umepatiwa mungu gozo ya kufanya hivyo I expect to see people flocking in the office. Ninatarajia watu wakimbilia ofisi ile. And on the registration dates that are in every center. Na basi yale madawati ya kujisajili ya ambayo iko kwenye kila kituo to be able to register and strengthen ourselves. Basi waweze kujisajili na kujitia nguvu. I know we had a interference from the pandemic. Basi tulikuwa na ule mtikisho kupitia na ule corona. But we are picking up again. Lakini tunainuka tena. And we are going to fly. Na tutaenda kupaa juu make sure as we talk of you are on board basi utambua kwamba tunapoenda juu na wewe uko pale ndani if you have not registered kama haujajijasajili sako member kama me, kama mtu wa sako please do so hakikisha unafanya hivyo in the earliest time possible kwa wakati ufao the money you put there is a saving basi pesa unazowekeza pale it is yours ni yako it will never be anybody else haitakuwa ya mtu mwingine yeyote it is your money ni fedha yako you can borrow against it unaweza kuchukua ku, and after some years na baada ya miaka fulani if you want to have it collected 
negatively back. It will come back to you. Basi it is there to facilitate you to take a loan bigger than the money. Iko pale kuchukua loan, uh, kuchukua mkopo zaidi ya kile ambacho umekeza. And as you save every month. Unapoendelea kuwekeza kila mwezi. You are growing your savings. Basi unakuza fedha zako. So even if you put 5000 it is yours. Basi ukieka 1500 ni yako. And for your information. Na kwa ufahamu wako. I stand here to tell you. Nimesimama hapa kukwambia. Every single cent that you have given. Kila fedha ambayo umetoa it is safe. Iko salama. It is safe. Iko salama. It is safe. Iko salama. Don't be lied to by anyone. Wewe usidanganye na yoyote yule. It is in the bank. Iko kwenye benki. And actually it is producing some interest. Na hata inazalisha. And because you are not taking loans as you should be taking. Na kwa sababu umchukue mikopo vile inavyostahili. There are overheads of the of the of the sacco. Basi kuna yale masalio zaidi ya ile sacco. We have a staff in the office. Basi kuna yale msimamizi kwenye ile office. And there are uh, stationaries that we buy. Na hata kuna yale madaftari tunanunua. We use the interest that we are getting from the money market not your money the interest basi yale masalio ama ile ambayo imewekezwa zaidi and the ones that we use to pay the staff ndio tunatumia kulipia wale wafanyikazi wetu and if we need to get them tea or the uh, there are meetings that the money we are using basi kama wanastahili kupata chai from the money market kutoka na ile fedha ya faida tunayopata so we are we are wise kutoka soko ile waigezaji we don't eat the capital we Basi eat the profit. Ile faida. We have got able advisors who are in the financial institutions. Tuna wale wasimamizi ambao wanatuadvise vizuri who are helping us to do things in the correct manner. Ambao wanatusaidia kufanya mambo sawa sawa. Uh, we were supposed to celebrate our anniversary today. Tulikuwa tusherekea anniversary yetu leo but because Celebrating 5 years is better than celebrating 4. Basi kufurahikia miaka mitano ni vizuri kushinda miaka minne. And because the numbers did not get to where I needed them to get to. Na basi kwa sababu nambari hazikufikia pale mimi nilikuwa natarajia. I even a bonus of 1 year. Nimepatia bonus ya mwaka mmoja. We are going to make the sacco strong in this one year. Tutaenda kuifanya sacco ipata ipate nguvu kwa mwaka huu mmoja. And next year. Alafu mwaka ujao. The first supernatural Saturday. Ile supernatural ya kwanza tutakuwa nayo. We will have a celebration. Tutakuwa na sherehe. In fact it will be a celebration. Hakika itakuwa ni sherehe inside the super Saturday. Basi ndani ya super Saturday. Or should it be the other way round? Ama iwe upande mwingine. It will be super Saturday. Itakuwa ni super Saturday inside Sako celebrations. Ndani ya Sako eh, sherehe ya Sako. And we will do it in Bamburi in a very mega way. Na basi tutaifanya kule Bamburi katika hali ya hukumno. But it is conditional. Lakini ina ina viwango. It's conditional. Ina viwango fulani. We will a stand up. What yeah. I have just announced is conditional. You have to meet the targets. Lazima ukisha umefikia viwango. You know what they are. Najua ni gani? And then we will have that celebration. And alafu tutakuwa na ile sherehe. And then we shall throw Super Saturday inside. Na basi tutatupa hiyo Super Saturday ndani ya hiyo. The, the, the celebration will swallow the Super Saturday. Basi ya ile sherehe itamezwa na ile sacco. You know we are one. Wajua tuko pamoja tuko moja. Women in the sacco are the same women in the Super Saturday. Wa mama walioko kwenye sacco ndio hao hao wako kwenye Super Saturday. So whichever way hiyo hali yote it is a win win basi ni ule kushinda pande zote mbili i don't know whether it was last night or this morning papa asked me sijui kama ni jana usiku ama ni leo baba aliniuliza have you reached a point that the men can join the sacco je umefikia kiwango ambapo wanaume wanaweza kujiunga na sacco do you want us to open it for them je mgependa tuifungue kwa ajili yao not yet let me hear sacco members do you want us to open it for the men? No, not yet. The Norse have it. Yes. So you have an answer from them. Basi umepata jawabu kutoka kwao. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kitu iko na wenyewe hii. The things are with their owners. Iko na wenyewe. They are with their owners. So I was jengewa pale nyumbani, lazima ijengewe kwa madhabahu. It must be built at the pulpit. And the wenyewe wamesema no. And the for owners have no said for no now. for now. Please say no for now. No. La kwa sasa. Maybe in the future we will. Labda siku za usoni tutaweza. Maybe we will Frida. Naweza kuketi dada. So let us make it strong so that 
they begin to envy us. Basi hebu tufanye ya nguvu mpaka washikwe na wivu. And do they begin there so we have mercy on them. Basi labda waanze yao labda tuwahurumie. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Um I think that's all I wanted to say there are some other things but I will not say them. Kuna mambo mengine lakini sitayasema. But I wanted to quote this scripture that Papa always quotes when we gather for unity service. Lakini napenda kunukuu andiko hili ambalo Baba hulipenda kulinukuu wakati tunapokuwa na I'll just quote it quickly. I will not dwell there. Baada ya pamoja sitainukuu haraka. And the Lord said. Bwana akasema. Indeed the people are one. Hakika watu wako na umoja. And they all have one language. Na basi wako na lugha moja. And this is what they begin to do. Na basi hiki ndicho wameanza kukifanya. Now nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Basi chochote ambacho wameazimia kukitenda hakitazuiliwa. My desire for the women ministry in all the centers basi tamanio langu kwa huduma kina mama katika vituo vyetu vyote is that we walk together ni kwamba tukatembee pamoja we walk together kwamba tukatembee pamoja we speak one language nene lugha moja that is why when we meet ni posta tunapokutana we tell you so many things tunawaambia mambo mengi mno we allow the sako people to come here and give you a report tunaruhusu watu wa sako waje tuwaje hapa tupatie report yao now the spiritual arm to stand here and give them humble time to give a report hata tunaruhusu kitengo ama mkono wa kiroho utupatie report yao so that you all may with one accord ili sote so, towards the same direction ili sote so katika nia moja tukatembee katika njia moja so that is my desire basi hilo ndilo tamani yangu we can do great things basi tutatenda mambo makuu women we have the ability wanawake ama kina mama tuna uweza tuna uweza and we have the heart to do it na basi tuna moyo wa kutenda so i plead with you basi ninawaomba i plead with you ninawaomba jump in the wagon basi ingia kwenye kitengo hicho is it mrs kwake who said the the the, the ark is complete the ark is The ark is complete. Basi Safina iko iko kamilifu. Jump in. Basi ingia ndani. If you stay outside. Ukikaa nje, you will be knocking at the windows. Basi utakuwa unagonga madirisha. When it is raining so heavily. Wakati kuna nyesha mvua kali. And there will be no way for the door to be opened. Na kutakuwa kuna lango la kufunguliwa. When everything crumbles in the world. Wakati mambo yatakuwa yameharibika kule ulimwenguni. You run to the circle when you have not put a single cent there. Na basi unakimbilia kwenye sako na hujawekeza chochote. Say you know now everything has crumbled. Can I have some money from the circle we will tell you? No. Umesikia members vile wanasemanga no. Wanasema. Kama wanaweza ambia baba no na wewe je? If they can tell you papa no. What about you? What about you? It will be no time stand. Basi watakwambia la mara kumi. We have millions sitting in the bank. Kuna milioni zimelala kule benki. Millions. Millioni. They are sitting in the bank. Zinaketi kule benki. But if you are not a member. Lakini kama wewe si mshirika. If you are single set. Hatuwezi kukupatia hata shilingi. Not a 10 shillings. Hata shilingi kumi. You can't get it. Hauwezi kuipata. The ark is closed for you. Basi Safina imefungiwa kwa ajili yako. So it is completely closed. Like basi Safina imefungiwa kwa ajili yako use the window basi tumia dirisha because there is a window the door all closed three years ago basi mlango ulifungwa miaka tatu iliyopita but there is still a window lakini kuna dirisha tu very soon we shall say no more basi hivi punda tutasema la tena so that is why we bring to you all these narratives basi ndipo sasa tunaleta ni kwenu maelezo haya yote so that one of you is knowledgeable ili kila mmoja wenu akapate kupata ufahamu nobody will require you to do something that you don't know hakuna yeyote ataweza kukusababisha ufanye jambo ambalo wewe hulifahamu praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe another thing that was talked here as i close is a women getting burden for the ministry basi jambo lengine nililosikia hapa ni wanawake kuwa na mzigo kwa ajili ya huduma the lord needs to put in us women basi mungu anastahili kuwekeza kwetu wanawake a burden for the work of god basi mzigo kwa ajili ya kazi ya mungu that will facilitate ambaye itawezesha the last revival kwamba uvuvio wa mwisho kabla yesu kurejea i want you to weigh yourself nataka ujipatie ramani ujipatie ramani I want you to put yourself in a balance. Nataka ujiweke kwenye ramani fulani. 
and see how you invest in the kingdom of God. Nataka ujitazame jinsi unavowekeza katika ufalme wa Mungu. You know if we all believe that we are going to stand before the throne of God before the judgment seat of Christ to give an account of what we did in the flesh. Kama sisi sote tutatunaamini kwamba tutasimama siku moja mbele za kiti cha enzi cha Mungu, tutatoa hesabu ya yale yote tuliyokuwa tumeyafanya. How many people believe we will one day stand before the judgment seat of Christ? How many people wetu wanaamini kwamba tutasimama kwenye kiti cha enzi cha Mungu? It is in the Bible. Iko kwenye Biblia. We will stand. Tutasimama. And we will give an account. Na tutatoa hesabu. I don't know whether you are putting your accounts in order. Sibi kama umeweka hesabu yako sawa. And one way to put your accounts in order. Na jambo moja la kuweka hesabu yako sawa is to weigh yourself. Ni kujiweka kwenye ratili. Weigh yourself. Jiweke kwenye ratili. I want you to check. Nataka ujichunguze. As a wise woman. Kama mwanamke busara. Go get a book. Enda tafute kitabu. And try to put uh, your mathematics. Na weke hesabu zako sawa sawa. Find out. Eh tajaribu kuchunguza. Hebu donga jirani yako umuuliza kama anasikiza. Sipendi kuongea kama watu hawasikizi. Na tonge, ako alert. Knock your neighbor so that they can I be alert. I want you to go and put into account. Weka hesabu zako sawa and find out. Na uchunguze. How much am I investing in this kingdom Jem. that I so much believe in and that I'm going to give an account for? Je, mimi ninaekeza kiasi gani katika huduma hii ambayo mimi nitaenda kutoa hesabu? You will be so shocked utashtuka mno to find out that kujua kwamba some of you come to church once in a week wengine wenu mnakuja kanisani mara moja kwa wiki on sunday siku ya jumapili and you come and give a 50 shillings na unakuja unatoa shilingi 50 ama 100 shillings ama shilingi 100 or 1000 shillings ama for that moja kama 2000 ama 2000 tu and then you calculate at the na, end of the month na basi ufanye hesabu yako tamati ya mwezi how much have you put in the kingdom from your resources je umewekeza katika ufalme wa Mungu kutokana na fedha zako even if you go to church every day put those mathematics hata together hata kama unaenda kanisani kila siku fanya hesabu hiyo and check on what you put in your belly compare na basi hakikisha na ufanye ramani how much you spend when you go to the supermarket na fanya ramani ya kile unachofanya wakati naenda kwenye supermarket you are putting in your belly and then you begin to put on things to, to, to suppress the, the tires basi unaweka vitu kwenye tumbo alafu unajaribu kuweka vitu ambavyo vinaweza kusukuma yani you have spent so much money in your belly basi umewekeza sana kwenye tumbo and lako so little in the kingdom na kichache ya mno katika ufalme and what you are put in your belly na kila umeweka kwenye tumbo lako you are even ashamed of it hata wewe una aibu kwayo am, am i making sense Je mimi ninasema jambo tumetengeneza matires matires ya pesa ambayo inastahili kuwa imeingia katika katika huduma katika injili we have produced tires which are supposed to be in the ministry nataka kuifanya i sound very bad nataka i want it to, to sound very bad once in a month mara moja kwa mwezi just eat vegetables kula tu masukuma wiki kabeji mboga mboga tu and get the money bring it and say wacha tujenge ile satellite eh, ambao baba anaongeanga kuhusu hizi nyama yote ya wiki hii napeleka church na unajua we have the world that is speaking so loudly even now as i go eh, as i speak like this Nina. the world is listening more than you are listening ninaponena hivi ulimwengu unasikia zaidi kushinda nyinyi the criticizers are listening louder than the beneficiaries are wale ambao wanatoa makosa wanasikia sana kushinda wale ambao wanapokea wana we have reached a time and a point tumefikia wakati na kiwango that women must carry the burden of the ministry basi wanawake wabebe mzigo wa huduma As wise people kama wanawake busara and we are wise na sisi ni wanawake wenye busara Papa is very proud of the women. Baba anafurahikia sana kina mama. He's not ashamed of it. Yeye hana aibu juu yao. He speaks about us Yeye in front, of, in front of our husbands and our sons. Na hata mbele ya waume zetu na vijana wetu. He talks about the women. Ananena juu ya kina mama. Can we continue to make him proud? Je, oh, tunaweza yes. kuendelea kumfurahisha moyo wake? Let us not be tired. Hebu tusichoke. Of doing good. Ya kutenda mema. Why? Kwa nini? Because we shall reap a reward. Maana 
There is a reward that is waiting for us if we don't give up. Have I, have I passed the message home? Yes. How many people are going to reconsider the way they are investing? Because it's an investment. How many people are going to reconsider the way they are investing in the kingdom? Let me see. You know what I was thinking of saying? And I will say it anyway. If everyone who is listening to me now Kila moja na inisikiza sasa could double what they give every time they go to a service atafanya maradufu ama tatua maradufu ya vile wanavyo kuja kwenye ibada just double basi wafanya maradufu ako ka 50 kafanya 100 if it is 50 you do it 100 that 200 make it 400 ah uh, the 200 the the, the, the 200 you make and it 400 try and see what will happen na ujaribu uone ni nini kitatendeka i don't have a time at the time to give you my testimony sina wakati wa kukupatia ushuhuda wangu but i am shocked lakini nimeshangazwa mno by what god can do kwa kile mungu anaweza kukifanya women let us be serious Wanawake hebu tuwe wa kumaanisha. Let us be serious in our service for Wacha tuwe wa kumaanisha katika ibada zetu pamoja. And as I sat there and listened to everyone that came here. Na nilipoketi nikisikiliza kila mmoja wenu aliyekuja mahali hapa. I tell you the spirit of God is moving us in the same direction. Basi nawaambia kwa kweli roho ya Mungu anatupeleka katika njia moja. The spirit of God is not the author of confusion. Basi roho ya Mungu sio mwanzilishi wa kuchanganyikiwa. Basi anapotembea most people in the same direction anatembeza no? watu katika njia and moja the direction that the spirit of god is moving us right now na basi yule roho wa Mungu anatembeza wakati huu is to be kingdom minded basi ni kuwa na ufahamu wa ufalme kuwa na ufahamu wa ufalme to invest in the kingdom basi kuwekeza katika to ufalme to be available where kingdom business is kupatikana katika kazi ya ufalme and if you don't hear na basi kama hautasikia you will not say i didn't know basi hautasema haukujua Say, I wasn't told. Praise, Praise the Lord. Stand up on your feet. I want us to um, read this verse from Psalm 119. I want us to go before the Lord and prepare our hearts as we hear what heaven has for us. I want us to go before the Lord and prepare our hearts as we hear what heaven has for us. There is a voice coming from the throne room of God. That is going to be released right now. And I want us to tell the Lord to prepare our hearts. Prepare our hearts. To hear. To kapate kuskia. The word that the Lord has sent to us. Kile kito bache mungu metuandalia kwa jili yetu. Lead us faith as we prepare our hearts. Tunapo jiandami o yetu. Take your glory. Keep. Take your glory, Lord of Lords. Take your glory, King of Kings. It belongs to you, our Lord. Take your glory. Take your glory.
and the word of God will find room in our hearts. We are ready. Tuko tayari. Anoint your servant once more. Asipake mtumishi wako mafuta tena. That he may speak the oracles of God. Asikanene mausia ya Mungu. And to us this afternoon. Kwa ajili yetu mchana wa leo. We bless your name. Bariki jina lako. And we glorify you. Tunakutukuza Bwana. In Jesus name we pray. Katika jina la Yesu tumeomba. And in that mood of prayer. Katika hali hiyo ya maombi. I want you to help me. Nataka mnisaidieni. Welcome to this platform. Mteni kwenu katika madhabahu haya. The servant of God. Mishi wa Mungu. Pastor Wilfred Lai. Mishi Wilfred Lai. Our covering. Baba ya mbani msimamizi wetu. Our prophet. Nabii wetu. Come and prophesy. Aje leto nabii. Our life. Katika maisha yetu. Stretch your hands to heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord Jesus. With our hands lifted up. We surrender. We surrender to you. We acknowledge that we can do nothing. We can do nothing without you. We will fail. If we do not depend on you. So Lord we trust you. For everything. In our lives. In our ministries. In our families. In our professions and, and, and businesses. We depend on you. For in you we live. In you we move. In you we have our being. Build our faith this afternoon. Lord that we will be able to fulfill our purpose. For you have called us for a great purpose. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Kwa jina la yesu, ni meomba. And all God's people shout a big amen. I say shout a big amen. It, does, it doesn't sound like supernatural Saturday. It doesn't sound like that. It sounds like we are in a place of losers and I don't think so. Haisikiki kama supernatural Saturday haisikiki hivyo. Inasikika kana kwamba tuko mahali pa kupoteza na sivyo hivyo. Let those who know that they are triumphant do with the Bible way clap your hands and shout unto God. With a voice of triumph. says even the youth shall grow weary and faint but them that wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings like the eagles Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
They shall run and they will not grow weary. Watakimbia na hawatochoka. Those who wait upon the Lord. Wale wanaomgoja Bwana. And I know the women know how to wait upon the Lord. Luke at your neighbor, tell them renew your strength. Tell them don't wait for somebody to encourage you. Renew your strength. Tell them renew your strength. Yes, renew your strength. When you renew your strength. You surprise people of your age. Because you grow younger instead of growing older. Because everything about life is is about your attitude. Kwa sababu kila kitu kuhusiana na maisha ni kuhusiana ama inategemea mtazamo wako. Your attitude. Mtazamo wako. If you begin to have an attitude I am growing old. Even white hairs that were supposed to come 5 years later will come now. Ukianza kuwa na mtazamo kwamba mimi ni mzee hata mvi ambao ulifaa kuonekana miaka mitano ijayo utaanza kuonekana sasa because the way a man thinketh kwa sababu jinsi afikiriavyo mwanadamu so so yes hivyo ndivyo alivyo so you begin you need to have a mindset i am strong i am i am i am a winner i am not I am not like other women. I am a woman of God. And I am. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something is going to happen to you before you leave this place. I guarantee. I guarantee. If I was allowed by the Bible to swear, I would swear. I just need you to give me your mind. And give me, give me your attention. Unipatie kumakinika kwako and forget about the heat stop doing this na usahau joto wacha kujipepea pepea because that will take away your attention kwa sababu hiyo itaondoa kumakinika kwako let the sweat flow wacha jasho litiririke tu you can wipe it unaweza kulifuta but don't allow yourself to be doing like this because, because that is double attention I promise I will not keep you long I am going to preach I am not going to teach so I can preach for 10 minutes and finish everything I want to say I can preach for half an hour but when I teach I can when I preach and teach I can go for 3 hours lakini wakati ninafundisha huku nikihubiri naweza enda kwa muda wa masaa tatu so I made up my mind today I'll just preach. Kwa hiyo nimeamua katika nia yangu kwamba leo nitahubiri tu. It is you that I love. It is you that I give. Oh.
may be seated. Naweza kuketi. I am truly delighted to be here. Uh, nimefurahia sana kuwa hapa. In this first uh, supernatural Saturday of the year 2022. Katika uh, supernatural uh, super Saturday uh, supernatural Saturday hii ya kwanza ya mwaka. And I just want to thank the women leadership for are giving me the opportunity to do this. Na kushukuru pia viongozi kunipatia fursa ya kufanya hivi. I don't know whether it is a coincidence. Uh, sijui kama ni sadfa. Because today is 2nd of April. Kwa sababu leo ni tarehe 2 ya April. And 2nd of May. Na tarehe mbili ya mwezi wa tano. We are going to have a couple seminar. Tutaenda kuwa na semina, semina ama mkutano wa wali, wanandoa. How many married women do I have here? Ni wanawake wangapi walio katika ndoa hapa? Can you stand up please? Simama tafadhali. Oh my goodness. Mungu wangu. I am going to make you my ambassadors. Naenda kuwafanya ninyi kuwa mabalozi wangu. Do you accept the offer? Je, mnakubali hilo toleo? Let me see by a wave of hand if you accept the order. The, 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 the offer. Wacha nione kwa kupunga mkono kama unakubali hilo toleo. Amen. Amina. The success of our couples seminar is going to be determined by you. Ufanisi wa mkutano wetu wa wanandoa utaenda kuazimiwa na nyinyi. So we have a whole month. Kwa hiyo tuko na mwezi mzima. And I'm asking every one of you standing. Na ninaomba kila mmoja wenu ambaye amesimama to make sure that you and your husband will be there. Uh, kuhakikisha kwamba wewe na mume wako mtakuwepo. Let me see those that already promised me that will happen. Wacha nione wale ambao tayari wananiahidi kwamba hiyo itatendeka. Now the ambassadors have decreased. Sasa mabalozi wamepungua. So if you are not an ambassador I will ask you to sit down. Kwa hiyo kama wewe si balozi nitakuomba uketi. How many ambassadors do I have? Mabalozi wangapi nilio nao? Let me see by raise of hand. Wacha nione kwa kuinua mkono. So if you are not raising your hand, I allow you to sit down. Kwa hiyo kama hawinui mkono wako na kuruhusu uketi. Thank you very much. Asanteni sana. Maybe you will change your mind while you are sitting. The Holy Ghost will tell you you are not doing the right thing. Pengine utabadilisha niya yako wakati unapoketi. Roho mtakatifa takwambia kwamba haufanyi jambo la sawa. I will tell you something. Nitakwambia kitu. Ah. The 2nd of May. Tarehe mbili ya mwezi wa 5. When we gather as couples. Tutakapo kusanyika kama wanandoa. We are going to pave the way. Tutaenda kutengeza njia. For blessing and peace and tranquility in our homes. Kwa jili ya baraka na amani na utulivu katika uh, nyumba zetu. So you and your husband must be there. Kwa hiyo wewe na mume wako lazima muwepo. And I ask that you also invite because there is no family that does not have a family friend. Uh, naomba kwamba pia wewe ukaalike kwa sababu hakuna jamii isiyo kuwa na rafiki. Your other couple that is your family friends must also come. Ah, uh, wale wanandoa wengine ambao ni marafiki zenu lazima pia nao waje. Do you take this appointment? Je, hii mnachukua? Lift your hands, I pray for you. Inua because... mikono yako ni kuombe. Lord, I thank you. 
Bwana na kushukuru. Because on the 2nd of May. Kwa sababu siku ya tarehe 2 ya mwezi wa 5. We are going to have a great time as families. Taenda kuwa na wakati mkuu kama jamii. And there is going to be healing for every home. Na kutakuwa na uponyaji kwa ajili ya kila boma. Lord I pray. Bwana ninaomba that these ambassadors will do their job. Kwamba mabalozi hawa watafanya kazi yao. And they will make that day a success. Na watafanya hiyo siku kuwa ya kufanikiwa. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Amina. Eh, ambassadors are paid. Mabalozi hulipwa. Eh, and they are paid by the government that they that they work for. Na wao hulipwa na serikali wanayoifanyia kazi. I am here to tell you. Niko hapa kukwambia. The kingdom of God. Ufalme wa Mungu has never taken anything for free. Haujawahi kuchukua chochote bure. As you do that. Unapofanya hivyo. My God. Mungu wangu shall supply atatosheleza all your needs mahitaji yako yote according to his riches in glory sawa sawa na utajiri wake katika utukufu by Christ Jesus kwa Kristo Yesu you may be seated unaweza kuketi so i am very happy that may second will be my greatest day of a couples seminar. Kwa hiyo na furaha sana kwamba uh, tarehe mbili ya mwezi wa tano itakuwa ni siku kuu sana kwangu kuwa na mkutano wa wanandoa. Let's go to the word of God the book of Mark chapter 12. Twende katika neno la Mungu katika kitabu cha Marko mlango wa 12 verse 41. Mstari wa 41. Mark chapter 12 and verse 41. Marko mlango wa 12 na mstari wa 41. Now Jesus sat opposite the treasury and saw how the people put money into the treasury and many who were rich put in much. Naye akaketi kulielekea sanduku la hazina akatazama jinsi mkutano watiavyo mapesa katika sanduku matajiri wengi wakatia mengi then one poor widow came and threw in in two mites which make a quadrants akaja mwanamke mmoja mjane maskini akatia senti mbili kiasi cha nusu pesa So he called his disciples to himself and said to them assuredly I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all those who had given to the treasury. Akawaita wanafunzi wake akawaambia amini nawaambia huyu mjane maskini ametia zaidi kuliko wote wanaotia katika sanduku la hazina. For they all put in out of their abundance but she out of her poverty put in all that she had a whole livelihood maana hao wote walitia baadhi ya mali iliyowazidi bali huyu katika umaskini wake ametia vyote alivyokuwa navyo ndivyo riziki yake yote pia Uh, Matthew chapter 26 Mathayo mlango wa 26 Verse 1 Sita If you have found it say amen Kama umeipata sema amina Do you know where we are in Matthew Verse 20 26 verse 6. unajua tuko wapi katika Mathayo 26 na mstari wa 6. He says and when Jesus was in Bethany at the house of Simeon the leper 
a woman came to him having an alabaster flask of very costly fragrant oil and she poured it on him on his head as he sat at the table na yesu ali alipokuwapo bethania katika nyumba ya simoni mkoma mwanamke mwenye kibweta cha marehemu ya thamani kubwa alimkaribia akaimimina kichwani pake alipoketi chakulani but when his disciples saw it they were indignant saying why this west uh, wanafunzi wake walipoona wakachukizwa wakasema ni wanini upotevu huu for this fragrant oil might have been sold for much and given to the poor maana marehemu hii ingeliweza kuuzwa kwa fedha nyingi wakapewa maskini but when jesus was aware of it he said to them why do you trouble the woman for she has done a good work for me yesu akatambua akawaambia mbona mnamtaabisha mwanamke maana ni kazi njema aliyonitendea mimi for you have the poor with you always but me you do not have always kwa maana siku zote mnao maskini pamoja nanyi lakini mimi hamna hamnami siku zote for in pouring this fragrant oil on my body she did it for my burial maana kwa kunimwagia kunimwagia mwili wangu marehemu hiyo ametenda hivyo ili kuniweka tayari kwa maziko yangu Assuredly I say to you wherever this gospel is preached in the whole world what this woman has done will also be told as a memorial to her Amini nawaambieni kila patakapo hubiriwa injili hii katika ulimwengu wote tendo ili ha, tendo hilo alilolitenda huyu litatajwa pia kwa kumbukumbu lake may the lord bless the reading of his word bwana abariki somo la neno lake i have entitled my message this afternoon ujumbe wangu wa dhuhuri hii nimeuita women of glory wanawake wa utukufu women of glory wanawake wa utukufu that's what i will be talking to you about hiyo ndio nitakuwa nikiongea nawe kuhusu i have read from two portions of scripture nimesoma kutoka sehemu mbili za maandiko the last reading that we have read in matthew 26 that story is in matthew and it is in mark and it is in luke a uh, katika sehemu ya mwisho ambao tumesoma katika mathayo 26 hiyo hadithi iko katika Mathayo iko katika Marko na iko katika Luka And Matthew and Mark tell the story the same way Na Mathayo na Marko wanaisimulia ile hadithi kwa njia moja Luke tells the story with more information than Matthew and Mark uh, Luka anaielezea ile hadithi akiwa na ufahamu ama maelezo mengi ya ndani kuliko Mathayo na Marko From this story we can tell that this woman was a woman who was rich uh, Kutoka kwa hadithi hii tunaweza kusema kwamba mwanamke huyu alikuwa ni mwanamke ambaye alikuwa tajiri And the next the, the first story we read is a story of a poor widow. Na hadithi ya kwanza tuliyosoma ilikuwa ni hadithi ya mwanamke maskini ambaye ni mjane. So I have read these two stories to put what the spirit of God has put in my heart to you. Ah uh, kwa hiyo nimesoma uh, hadithi hizi mbili uh, ili nipate kuweka kile ambacho Mungu ameweka moyoni mwangu nikiweke ndani yako. One of them is very poor but she is a great giver. 
mmoja wao ni maskini sana lakini ni mtoaji mkuu The next one is very rich but she is a great giver Ah uh, yule mwingine naye pia ni tajiri sana na ni mtoaji mkuu Both of them are women of glory. Wote wawili ni wanawake wa utukufu. Let me explain that word glory. Wacha nielezee ama nilifafanue hilo neno utukufu. From the word of God. Kutoka kwa neno la Mungu. Glory is spoken about in two ways. Utukufu unasimuliwa katika njia mbili. Glory is spoken to 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 manifest the the splendor of god ah uh, utukufu unasimuliwa ama unanenwa una kuelezea uzuri wa mungu it, 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 it is like a, a bright light ni kama nuru kuu glory also in scripture is spoken as to to describe a man of financial ability. Uh, utukufu pia katika maandiko unasimuliwa kama kuonyesha mtu aliye na uweza wa kifedha. Jesus took, talking about warring he said even Solomon in all his glory did not array himself or he didn't dress up like the lilies. Uh, Biblia ikiongea juu ya, ya kufadhaika inasema kwamba hata Sulemani katika utukufu wake wote haku, hakuvikwa ama hakujivika kama maua ya waridi. Their glory is talking about financial ability. Utukufu unaongea juu ya uweza wa kifedha. And so this afternoon I am talking about that second definition of glory in scripture. Uh, na kwa hiyo adhuhuri hii ninaongea huo ufafanuzi wa pili kuhusiana na utukufu katika maandiko. I am going to talk about women of financial ability. Naenda kuongea juu ya wanawake walio na uweza wa kifedha. I came with a message from God to change you to become a woman of glory. Nimekuja na ujumbe kutoka kwa Mungu ili nikufanye wewe au nikubadilishe uwe mwanamke wa utukufu. If you want it, it will happen. Kama unautaka, unaitaka itatendeka. And it will not happen a long time, it is going to happen now. Na haitatendeka muda mrefu kutoka sasa, itatendeka sasa. How many people are ready for this? Wangapi mko tayari kwa hii? Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. Is coming back. Anarudi. I believe with every fiber in me. Ninaamini na kila kitu kilicho ndani yangu. He is coming in this generation. Anakuja katika kizazi hiki. And the final revival. Na uvuvio wa mwisho. That is going to usher the Lord Jesus Christ back into the world. Ambao utaenda kumleta Bwana Yesu Kristo kurudi ulimwenguni. Is going to be financed by women of glory. Utaenda kusimamiwa kufadhiliwa na wanawake wa utukufu. I'm going somewhere listen to me very carefully. Ninaenda mahali nisikize kwa makini. This gospel. Injili hii. This gospel. Injili hii. About this woman. Kuhusiana na mwanamke huyu. That was a great giver and a woman of substance. Ambaye alikuwa ni mtoaji mkuu na mwanamke mwenye amana. Jesus says. Ah Biblia inasema. Wherever the gospel will be preached. Ah Yesu anasema kwamba popote injili itakapohubiriwa. The world. Ulimwenguni kote. The story of this woman. Hadithi ya mwanamke huyu. Will be taught. Itasimuliwa. I want to say to the women here in Baxter. Ninataka kuambia wanawake hapa Baxter. Your story can be Hadithi yako inaweza kusimuliwa. Wherever the gospel will be preached in these last days. Popote injili itakapohubiriwa katika siku hizi za mwisho. Reference can be made of you. Ah uh, vigezo uh, vinaweza kufanyiwa kuhusu wewe. I am preaching to you. Hiyo ndio sababu ninakuhubiria. Somebody will need to mention you somewhere as they preach the gospel as a memorial of your giving. Ah uh, mtu anahitaji kukutaja mahali wakati injili inahubiriwa kama kumbukumbu la kutoa kwako. Somebody say I'm ready for this. Mtu sema niko tayari kwa hii. And people are really ready. Wangapi kweli wako tayari? You are ready. Uko tayari. If you are ready say amen. Kama uko tayari sema amina. 
in 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 Luke this woman is revealed as a sinner. Uh, katika Luka mwanamke huyu ana anafunuliwa kama mwenye dhambi. She comes with a with a bottle of expensive oil. Anakuta na chupa ya mafuta ya au marashi ya gharama ya juu sana. Mark says the price of this oil was about 300 dinaris. Ah uh, Marko anasema kwamba uh, gharama ya mafuta yale ilikuwa ni kama dinari 1300. That is an equivalent of a whole year's wage. Hiyo ni sawa na mshahara wa mwaka mzima. Look at your neighbor tell them that's great giving. Muangalie jirani mwambie huko ni kutoa kuku. And the woman na yule mwanamke instead of selling the oil uh, badala ya kuuza yale mafuta she used it to honor the lord akayatumia kumheshimu bwana she came akatoa and fell at her feet Akaja, at his feet na kaanguka kwenye miguu yake and she washed his feet with her tears na akaosha miguu yake kwa machozi yake she took her hair akachukua nywele yake and wiped his feet akafuta miguu yake she kissed his feet akabusu miguu yake and she broke the alabaster flask na akavunja kile kibweta cha marashi poured the oil on jesus akayamimina yale mafuta kwa yesu and the disciples who were all men na wanafunzi ambao wote walikuwa ni wanaume they are all disgusted by this wote wakatukizwa na hii because kwa sababu they looked at the oil waliangalia yale mafuta and they knew the cost of the oil na wakajua gharama ya yale mafuta like a great west ilionekana kama ni kuharibu huku nisikie when you become a giver ukifanyika mtoaji to jesus kwa yesu they will call you west watakuita wa kuharibu I don't know whether you are ready for this. Do I have women like this? You are ready to be called names. Because of your love for Jesus. And when people are ready for this. Whoever you love. You show your love by giving. I, 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 I am talking to somebody. Love is not stock. Love is about giving upendo ni kuhusiana na kutoa where your love is palipo upendo wako your heart will be there moyo wako na utakuwa pale where your heart is na mahali moyo wako ulipo your treasures will be hazina zako nazo zitakuwa pale nimekuja kukwambia women of glory wanawake wa utukufu their heart is in god mioyo yao iko ndani ya mungu and their money goes in the kingdom na pesa zao huenda katika ufalme and they, and they will never lack na hawatapungukiwa Because kwa sababu all the time wakati wote they receive the prophets of god wanapokea wana manabii wa mungu that will irritate men hapa hiyo itawaudhi watu wa wanadamu maana wana wana wake in the old testament akutoka kwa gara la kale na kuonyesha stories of women of glory hadithi za wanawake wa utukufu who will recognize ambao watatambua an anointing a upako and when they recognize na wakitambua an anointing upako they cannot be stopped hawawezi kuzuiliwa their hearts mioyo yao get connected inaunganika to that anointing na huo upako oh, are you listening to hey, me unanisikiza the ministry of jesus was sponsored by women ilifadhiliwa na wanawake women who wanted to connect wanawake ambao walitaka kujumlisha that was in jesus ulio ndani ya ulio kwa ndani ya yesu they saw waliona what jesus was doing kila yesu alikuwa kitaa how he was helping people jesus alikuwa akisaidia watu and they said na wakasema we want to participate tunataka kuhusika and make the life of this man na kufanya maisha ya mtu huyu yawe rahisi so that he is not thinking about what to eat and what to drink ili kwamba asiwaze atakula nini ama atakunywa nini that he may concentrate ili akapate kubakinika in the ministry na huduma many churches today makanisa mengi leo pastors wachungaji are worried wanafadhaika about paying bills jinsi watakavyolipa gharama zao and instead of praying for the ministry na badala ya kuombea huduma they are praying for money wanaombea wanaomba ili wapate pesa we can we can stop that this morning tunaweza tunaweza komesha hiyo adhuhuri hii 
I say we can stop it. I say we can stop it. How many of you say we stop it in JCC? Our sender pastors will not pray for money. Oh God, pay our bills. That is a wasted prayer. It is like a curse to you. Did you hear what I said? I'm not talking to men. And if there are any men here, walk out. Thank you, sir. Asante. I was, I was not told there are going to be men here. I was told there are going to be ladies. I, I am the only man. Who is welcome officially here? So, so the others, even those who came to serve me, stay out. So the others, even those who came to serve me, stay out. Because I'm not talking to you. I will call you. This is not your meeting. This is for the women. You say how about the ones with the cameras? Those ones are not listening. They are working. They are on duty. Wako kazini. And those who are in the studio they are on duty. Na wale wako studioni pia wako kazini. I'm talking about those who come to see to listen to what I am saying to you. Ninaongea na wale ambao wamekuja kuketi wasikize kile ninachowaambia. Look at your neighbor tell them this is our meeting oh. Mwangalie jirani mwambie huu ni mkutano wetu oh. Hey. Oh, the others are not welcome. Amen. Amina. I said amen. Nimesema amina. I said amen. Nimesema amina. Even they are changing the camera. Hata wale waliokuwa kwenye camera wamebadilishwa. Oh my Jesus. Oh Yesu wangu. You know. Unajua. You, you know in my team I have got both men and women. Unajua katika kikundi changu niko na wanaume na wanawake. So we, we, can, we can sort ourselves out very quickly. Kwa hiyo tunaweza kushughulikia mambo haraka upesi sana. And make things make things the way I want them to be. Na tufanya mambo yakae vile ninavyotaka yakae. And why am I doing this? Na ni kwa nini nafanya hii? Because ni kwa sababu in the life of Jesus. Katika maisha ya Yesu. He never worried about food. Hakufadhaishwa na chakula. He never worried about anything that is bought. Hakufadhaishwa na chochote. Look chapter 7 is the story that I told you. Hadithi hili ambayo nimekwambia iko katika Luka mlango wa 7. It goes all the way to the end of the chapter. Inaenda hadi mwisho wa hicho kifungu. And then in Luke chapter 8. Na kisha katika Luka mlango wa 8. It says and there were certain women. Nasema kwamba kulikuwa na wanawake kadha wa kadha. These are the women. Hawa ndio wanawake. Out of their substance. Kutokana na mali zao. Who took care of the needs of the ministry of Jesus. Wali shugulikia mahitaji ya huduma ya Yesu. They went with Jesus everywhere where he went. Walienda na Yesu kila mahali ya lipo kwenda. They paid the bills. The bills didn't come to Jesus. Wakalipa garama zote zili ya garama haziku mfikia Yesu. Jesus was busy healing the sick. Yesu walikuwa na shuguli na kazi kubwa akiponya wagonza. Casting out devils. Akitoa pepo. Preaching the kingdom of God. Akihubiri ufalme wa mungu. We must go back to that time. Ni lazima turudi kwa wakati huo. The women in the house of God. Na tubakia karika nyumba ya mungu. They must become women of substance. Akila mwanamke karika nyumba ya mungu lazima fanyika ya namu kwa wamana. I am saying you must become women of substance. Na sema lazima ufanyike mwanamke wa wamana. God is going to release an anointing. Mana mungu anaenda kuwa chini ya upako. This afternoon. Aduhuri. That is going to get you out of every fear. You are going to do business. I hear them saying in Sako you are not taking money. You are going to come and take money. And you are going to invest. And it is going to come back. Multiplied 10,000. 
thousand times ikiwa imezuidishwa mara elfu kumi because your heart kwa sababu moyo wako because your heart kwa sababu moyo wako is in serving the lord katika kumtumikia bwana because whatever you get kwa sababu chochote unachopata you will not use it hautakitumia without honoring god bila kumheshimu mungu am i talking to anybody here yeye anaongea na mtu yote hapa am i talking to anybody here yeye anaongea na yote hapa god is going to raise up mighty women of business Mungu anaenda kuinua wanawake wakuu katika biashara Like Susanna Kama Susanna Like Mary Magdalene Na kama Maria Magdalena Is anybody hearing me Je, kuna yeyote ananisikia These were women Hawa walikuwa ni wanawake who walked with Jesus Ambao walitembea na Yesu But they had invested in business Lakini walikuwa wamewekeza katika biashara Bible says Na Biblia inasema They took what they are of their substance Walichukua kutoka kwa mali zao And made sure Na wakahakikisha The treasury kwamba ile hazina of the ministry of Jesus ya huduma ya Yesu and so much money ilikuwa na pesa nyingi sana even when the treasurer stole hata wakati mweka hazina aliiba there still was no luck bado hakukuwa na upungufu and the treasurer was not a woman na yule mweka hazina hakuwa ni mwanamke the treasurer was a, was a man mweka hazina alikuwa ni mwanaume We men have a problem. Uh, uh, Don't think I am chasing them out for nothing. We have a problem. Ah, uh, wanaume tuko na shida. Unafikiri na wafukuza watoke nje bure? Tuko na shida. It is it is one man to a hundred who are givers. Ah, uh, ni mwanaume mmoja katika 100 ambaye ni mtoaji. One. Mmoja. One to a hundred. Mmoja hadi 100. So I didn't want them to hear this. Kwa hiyo sikutaka wasikie hii. That they don't say I was attacking men in the women's ministry. Ili wasiseme kwamba nilikuwa nashambulia wanaume katika mkutano wa wanawake. This is the truth. Lakini huu ndio ukweli. Why would the disciples of Jesus be offended? Ni kwa nini wale wanafunzi wa Yesu wakwazwe? See it is there in the Bible. Iko katika Biblia. They are offended. Wamekwazwa. I think this book They should be happy that this woman is doing this to their master. Nafikiri wangepaswa kuwa na furaha kwamba mwanamke huyu anamtendea bwana wao hivyo. But they are offended. Lakini wakakwazika. So when you see men offended about your giving, don't worry. Kwa hiyo ukiona wanaume wanakwazwa na kutoa kwako wewe usifadhaike. Don't worry. Usifadhaike. That is our nature. Hiyo ndiyo asili yetu. And don't let them stop you na usiwaache wakuzuie Bring blessing in your family because you are a wise woman. Leta baraka katika jamii yako kwa sababu wewe ni mwanamke mwenye hekima. Ah. Uh-huh. Is any woman hearing me here? Je, kuna mwanamke yote ananisikia hapa? I I read this story. Nimesoma hadithi hii. And I say. Na nikasema. Oh God. E Mungu give me women nipatie wanawake give me women nipatie wanawake i have prayed for men nimeombea wanaume who walked into this place ambao waliingia katika mahali hapa in sandals wakiwa wanavaa champali and god raises them up na mungu anawainua and they become my biggest critic critics na wanakuwa ndio wale wakubwa wa kunikosoa kosoa after me teaching them the principles of the kingdom baada ya kuwa nimewafundisha kanuni za ufalme mungu anawainua and they they, they 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 begin to have big heads wanaanza kuwa na vichwa vikubwa they forget wanasahau they forget wanasahau the lord Bwana their god Mungu wao who gave them power aliyowapatia nguvu to acquire wealth ya kupata mali but i am here to tell you lakini kwa hapa kukwambia i have got such great trust a, niko na uaminifu a, niko na kuamini kukuu in women ndani ya wanawake because women kwa sababu wanawake women wanawake women wanawake maybe you don't know this pengine haujui hii when i was going through my wilderness experience nilipokuwa nikipitia hali yangu ya nyika god sent to me a woman mungu akanitumia mwanamke two and a half years miaka miwili na nusu two and a half years miaka miwili na nusu every monday 
kila jumatatu without fail uh, bila kukosa for two and a half years kwa miaka miwili na nusu she shopped for us alienda kafanya manunuzi kwa ajili yetu and in the shopping basket na katika lile kapu la manunuzi she put an envelope with money aliweka bahasha iliyo na pesa every week kila juma so i am not against men kwa hiyo siko kinyume cha wanaume i see it in the bible ninaiona katika biblia it is a, it is a principle ni kanuni and women you need to wake up na wanawake mnahitaji kuanga and understand you are wrong na mfahamu kazi yenu understand you are wrong mfahamu kazi yenu you love more than men amnapenda zaidi kuliko wanaume women though they are not the ones who are supposed to love women love more than men wanawake ingawaje sio wanapaswa kupenda lakini wao hupenda zaidi ya wanaume and this man that Jesus had was having lunch in his house na huyu mwanaume ambaye Yesu alikuwa anapata chakula cha mchana kwake it was not the wife it was the man ilikuwa ni mwanaume Aiku. The man complained. A uh, yule mwanaume uh, wale wanaume wakalalamika. Si wanaume ule mwanaume. Oh, mwanaume mwenye akalalamika. Mwenye nyumba. Analalamika moyoni mwake. Anaangalia kile Yesu anafanyiwa. Anaangalia ule mwanamke anasema huyu mwanamke ni mwenye dhambi. Kama huyu kweli ni nabii. Angejua huyu mwanamke ni mwenye dhambi anaye mshikashika miguu huyo ni mwanaume anaongea ndani ya moyo wake maana moyo wake umejawa uutu umwili amejawa na mwili anasema mwanamke anaye mshikashika miguu kweli kama yeye angekuwa nabii wa Mungu si angejua huyu mwanamke ni wanamna gani Yesu akamgeukia kwa sababu alielewa shida zake. Akamwambia Simoni niko na maneno na wewe. Ninajua yale nakupatia na mtasari. Anasema ninajua yale unayafikiria juu ya mwanamke huyu. Lakini sikia nilipoingia katika hii nyumba yako. Au kunipatia maji ya kunawa miguu. Huyu mwanamke ambaye unamuita mwenye dhambi ameosha miguu yangu na machozi nilipoingia kwa nyumba hii wewe huko ni busu huyu mwanamke unayemuita mwenye dhambi amebusu hata miguu akamwambia anaesamehewa mengi anapenda zaidi kamgeukea mwanamke akamwambia dhambi zako zimesamehewa they can judge you because you are a woman wanaweza kukuhukumu kwa sababu wewe ni mwanamke men like to bully women wanaume wanapenda kuwasumbua wanawake this is why i am a defender of women hii ndio sababu mimi huwatetea wanawake men like to, to bully women wanapenda wana, wanaume wanapenda kuwanyanyasa wanawake and i am a defender na mimi ni mtetezi because i know the ministry of women kwa sababu naijua huduma ya wanawake i don't know how, how i would have made it sijui ningeweza vipi two and a half years miaka miwili na nusu no, no salary hakuna mshahara no income hakuna mapato i'm preaching everywhere ninahubiri kila mahali doing the work of the ministry nikifanya kazi ya huduma i never got into a matatu sikuingia kwenye matatu my car had fuel gari langu lilikuwa na mafuta every day kila siku one woman mwanamke mmoja not ten sio kumi. i see so many here ninaona wengi hapa one woman mwanamke mmoja not ten sio kumi not wao not 100 sio 100 one mmoja two and a half years miaka miwili na nusu 
I heard mama talking to you about offering. Nimesikia mama akiongea nawe kuhusiana na sadaka. We shouldn't be talking to women about offering. Hapasi kuwa naongea na wanawake kuhusiana na sadaka. Hiyo ni ujumbe wa wanaume. The women wanawake should love Jesus full stop. Wanapaswa tu kumpenda Yesu kikomo. When you love ukipenda you people when you love uh, ukipenda you people nyinyi watu nyinyi watu when you love ukipenda you know how to give mnajua jinsi ya kutoa you can give everything unaweza toa kila kitu ni kweli ama si kweli si ulitoka kweli eh ukaacha mama na baba isipokuwa ijapokuwa biblia inasema mwanaume ataacha mama baba yake na, ma, na, na mama yake na wewe ndiyo uliacha baba na mama kwa sababu ulipenda huyo mwanaume. Ukaacha baba na mama. Yeye bado anaendeleanga na baba yake na mama yake na anakupeleka huko. Anakuambia twende nyumbani. Anapokuambia twende nyumbani, anataka kukupeleka kwa baba yake. Niongea na nyinyi ama nifike hapo. Na Biblia inasema mwanaume atapenda mke wake lakini wanawake ndio wanapenda wanaume. Wan, sisi wanaume tuko na vituko. Vituko nyingi. Una unampenda umemtendea yote na ana sneak out anaenda kulala na mwanamke mwingine. Na akirudi bado unamsamee na unaendelea kumpenda kwa sababu Mungu aliwapatia moyo mkubwa. Mungu alikupatia moyo mkubwa. Mungu alisema asante Bwana kwa kunipatia moyo mkubwa. Asante Bwana kwa kunipatia moyo mkubwa. Asante Bwana. Shukuru Bwana kwa moyo mkubwa. Nyinyi ndio mnaweka nyumba pamoja. Nyumba nyingi hata katika kanisa hizi zingekuwa zilivunjika kitambo. Na watu wakatawanyika watoto waka, wakaachwa bila baba lakini wewe ambayo ni mjenga nyumba umeweka nyumba yako pamoja Mungu akubariki umeendelea kusamee umeendelea kupenda ambaye anges qualify kupendwa na mtu kama wewe wengi wenu wa umesenu, they don't qualify to be loved by you hawahitimu kabisa kupendwa watu, na wewe watu wa vituko Na, umeelewa kwa nini nimefukuza wanaume? Sasa unaelewa? Watu wa vituko. Ndio sababu Yesu alizungukwa na wanawake. Wanafunzi wako hapo lakini wale ambao walimjali au wanaume wana wa, wanapigania nani atakuwa mkono wa kuume na mkono wa kushoto wanawake hawana hiyo hmm. wao wanatafuta vyo wanasema na Yesu akiondoka akianza hii ufalme wake wa mbinguni nani atakuwa kushoto nani atakula kulia kwa nini kwa nini waseme hivyo wamefanya nini wao ndio wa, ndio wa qualify kuwa kushoto ama kulia wamefanya nini ni kumfuata Yesu tu na wale ambao waliolipa gharama hawana yeah. shughuli ya mkono wa kushoto ama wakulia wao ni kupenda tu yeah. kupenda tu wanampenda tu hawana kitu wanatafuta wanapenda tu and this is what i am calling women of glory na hii ndio ninaita wanawake wa utukufu women who will love jesus wanawake watakaompenda yesu and they can give anything na wanaweza toa chochote this poor one a huyu maskini huyu she came akaja with everything akaja na kila kitu she was so poor alikuwa maskini sana she could have afford nothing hangeweza kudhubutu chochote but because she loved jesus lakini kwa sababu alimpenda yesu she came to the treasury akaja kwenye hazina with 
the smallest thing that can ever be given in an offering akiwa na kitu kidogo kabisa ambacho kinaweza kuwahi kupeanwa katika sadaka and she came na akaja it is all she had hiyo ndiyo yote aliyokuwa nayo she didn't have anything else at home hakuwa na kingine nyumbani it was all she had hiyo ndiyo alikuwa nayo yote but the love that she had of god lakini kwa sababu ya upendo aliyokuwa nao kwa Mungu she came with everything akatoa na kila kitu in the house of god katika nyumba ya Mungu and mark you na zingatia she has no husband hana mume she's a widow yeye ni mjane you know this is what surprises me hii ndio unishangaza why did god have to send a widow woman to me ni kwa nini Mungu akamtuma mwanamke mjane kwangu He did the same to Elijah Alifanya hivyo hivyo kwa Elia Send a widow akamtuma mjane You know why Unajua kwa nini Because women kwa sababu wanawake love genuinely wanapenda kwa ukweli They love genuinely. Wanapenda kwa dhati. When a woman says I love something. Mwanamke anaposema kwamba ninapenda kitu. It is genuine. Hiyo ina udhati ndani yake. I close by saying. Ninatamatisha kwa kusema. Some women in the church. Wanawake wengine kanisani. Have adopted the spirit of men. Wamechukua roho ya wanaume. They have stopped being men, women. Wameacha kuwa wanawake. And they have become men. Na wamefanyika wanaume. I am going to deal with that spirit if you have it. Naenda kukabiliana na hiyo roho. Because you were never created to be like a man. Kwa sababu kamwe hukuumbwa wewe kuwa kama mwanaume. You were created to be a woman. Uliumbwa kuwa mwanamke. With a big heart. Ukiwa na moyo mkubwa. You can receive people in your house even when your husband is against it. Unaweza pokea watu nyumbani kwako hata wakati mume wako yuko kinyume cha hiyo. Mm. Na unaenda unampembeleza. Unamwambia angalia huyu mtu bila anasumbuka. Na unamuita dadi na ni mume wako. Am I speaking the truth or am I lying? Yeah, naongea ukweli au nadanganya. Yeah. Unamuinua, unamweka kiwango kwa cha baba, unamwambia dadi. Dadi tafadhali dadi. Hmm? Be a woman. Kuwa mwanamke. Don't allow anything to tear your family. Usiruhusu chochote kurarua jamii yako. Including your husband. Pamoja na na mume wako. You are a homemaker. Wewe ndiyo wa kutengeneza boma. Hata akifanya nini ka. Vituko vitaisha. Muombe. Sisemi ninatoka. Ume, una, umechukua roho ya wanaume. Wana wanavunjikanga moyo na wanaacha na wanasahau. Hmm? Unatoka uache nyumba yako uende wapi? Hao watoto wako unapoacha kumefanyika nini? Kutafanyika nini? Ni watoto wako. Si wa mume wako ni wako. Akubeba ajui uchungu wa mwana Anajua raha ya kuzaa peke yake ajui uchungu wa maana <laughs> Niongee ama nifike hapo si wanazaza kila mahali na wanaacha watoto mama hawezi kuacha mtoto wake hata kama ana kitu atamlea be a woman kuwa mwanamke don't don't allow the spirit that operates in men to come near you 
Usiruhusu roho itendayo kazi ndani ya wanaume ikae karibu nawe. Take care of your family. Tunza jamii yako. You are the homemaker. Wewe ndiye wa kutengeneza boma. You are the one that is supposed to pray for that family. Wewe ndiye unapaswa kuombea hiyo jamii. When when he sleeps. Anapolala. And it is time to go for morning glory. Na ni wakati wa kwenda kwa maombi asubuhi. Muruke. Amen. Muruke. Wacha na uzee wake aendelee kuzeeka hapo kwa kitanda. Nenda ukalie kwa ajili ya watoto wako. Ukalie kwa ajili ya nyumba yako. Ukalie kwa huyu mume wako ambaye ni zuzu namna hii. Mungu amubadilishe. Atabadilikaje akiwa akiwa ameolewa, ameoa mwanaume mwingine kama yeye? Ambia jirani msiwaambie. <laughs> Ambia hii ni siri yetu. JCC will never lack. JCC haitawahi pungukiwa. Because of these women of glory. Kwa sababu ya wanawake hawa wa utukufu. JCC will never have divorces. JCC haitakuwa na talaka. Because of these women. Kwa sababu ya wanawake hawa women of glory wanawake wa utukufu and i am going to tell you what is going to happen na naenda kukwambia kitakachotendeka when a man died mwanaume anapokufa a man who feared god mwanaume aliyemcha mungu he died akafa during the days of elisha alikufa siku za elisha and the family was left with the debts na jamii ikabaki na madeni the woman because she was connected mwanamke kwa sababu alikuwa amejiunganisha she went to the man of god akaenda kwa mtumishi wa mungu she did not need to introduce herself hakuhitaji kujitambulisha your man of god must know you a watu wako watumishi wako wa mungu wanapaswa kukujua I am saying you woman. Nasema wewe mwanamke. You are man of God. Mtumishi wako wa Mungu anapaswa. They must know you. Anapaswa ama ni lazima akujue. She came. Akaja. She said my husband. Akasema mume wangu. Feared God. Alimcha Mungu. But he died lakini alikufa and he has left us in a mess na ametuacha katika hali mbaya now the people that he hold sasa watu ambao aliwadai they want to take my children wanataka kuwatoa wanangu i think she was crying nafikiri alikuwa akilia when a woman talks about the children being taken she cannot be speaking with dry dry eyes mwanamke akiongea juu ya watoto kuwa wanachukuliwa hawezi kuongea kiwa na macho yaliyo makavu Elisha asked her. Elisha kamuuliza. What do you have in the house? Uko na nini nyumbani? She said some a, a little bottle of oil. Kasema chupa ndogo ya mafuta. He said go and tell your sons. Akasema enda uambie wanao. To go in the village. Waende katika kijiji. And borrow vessels. Na wakaombe vyombo. Let them not borrow just a few. Na wasiombe vichache. Hmm? The sons are men. Wale wana ni wanaume. Taonekana kama ninaonea wanaume lakini ni ukweli. She didn't have daughters read your bible she had the sons. So they went and borrowed. Kwa hiyo wakaenda wakaomba. Na imani ya kiume. They were not supposed to borrow just a few. They were supposed to fill the house with vessels. 
Hawakupaswa kuomba vichache. Walipaswa kuijaza nyumba na vyombo. She was told lock the door behind you. Akaambiwa funga mlango jifungie ndani. And take the jar of oil. Na uchukue ile chupa ya mafuta. Begin to pour it in the empty jars. Anza kumimina kwa vile vyombo vilivyo atupu. And she filled the first jar. Akajaza ya kwanza. Kijana akaondoa. She filled a second one. Akajaza ya pili. It is taken away. Ikaondolewa. The third one. Ya tatu. The fourth one. Ya nne. The fifth one. Ya tano. The sixth one. Ya sita. The seventh one. Ya saba. I don't know how many they had brought. Sijui walikuwa wameleta vingapi. But when she filled the last one. Lakini alipojaza ya mwisho. She said bring another one. Kasema leta nyingine. The boy said. Yule kijana akasema there is isn't another one. Hakuna chombo kingine. The anointing of the prophet was still flowing. Upako wa nabii ulikuwa bado unatiririka. Then she went to them to the prophet and they said, Kisha akaenda kwa nabii akasema, We have jars of oil. Tuko na chupa za mafuta. She is told akaambiwa go and sell enda ukauze pay your debts lipa madeni yako and live on the rest na zile zengine uishi kwazo this is what happens hii ndio hutendeka when you connect your life unapounganisha maisha yako to a man of god na mtu wa mungu in the time of your trouble katika wakati wa shida yako when nobody can help you wakati hakuna wezaya kukusaidia you will not suffer hauta tekseka you are children watoto wako will not suffer hawata teseka why kwa nini because kwa sababu you have honored umeheshimu the anointing upako of the man of god wa mtu wa mungu i am going to raise up women of glory here with a very small prayer. Naenda kuinua wanawake wa utukufu hapa na kiwango kidogo. Very small prayer. Na ombi dogo. From now. Kuanzia sasa. You are saying to God. Unasema kwa Mungu. I love the work of God. Ninaipenda kazi ya Mungu. And I love Jesus. Na ninampenda Yesu. So much. Sana. I know how much I love him. Ninajua jinsi ninavyompenda. I want God. Nataka Mungu to help me. Anisaidie that I become a woman of substance. Kwamba nifanyike mwanamke wa mguso. That God gives me an idea. Kwamba Mungu anipatie wazo that will open the heavens. Ambalo litafungua mbingu over my family and my life juu ya jamii yangu na maisha yangu there will never be a need hakutakuwa na hitaji in the house of god katika nyumba ya mungu as long as i live mradi niko hai do i have women like that je niko na mwanamke kama huyo get out of your seat toka kwa kiti chako and come and stand before this altar na usimame mbele ya madhabahu haya These are the Mary Magdalene's. Hawa ni kina Maryam Magdalena. Susanna. As kina Susanna. The wife of Susa. Ah, mke wakuza. These are the women I'm calling here. Hawa ndio wana hawa ndio wana wake ni nao waita hapa. Give them room. Move a little bit. Papatie nafasi songeni kidogo. Jehovah. Jehovah. The God who my serve. Mungu ninayemtumikia. We will remember all these women. Atawakumbuka wanawake hawa wote. Create room all around this altar. Atfanyeni nafasi kuzunguka madhabahu haya yote. All around. Ah kuzunguka kila mahali. I wish there will be no women standing on the aisles i want i want if you even if we need to push those seats back laiti kwamba na laiti kwamba hakutakuwa na mwanamke anayesimama kwenye nji kwenye mapito 
uh, pengine tusukume hizo viti zirudi nyuma ili tupate nafasi za kusimama huku mbele When the Lord put this word in my heart Bwana alipoweka neno hili moyoni mwangu He said to me son Akaniambia mwanangu I will raise Nitainua for you Nitakuinulia daughters mabinti that will bring glory ambao wataleta utukufu in this house katika nyumba hii shada bahala gashi ada ba era bara ba ya shada ba begin to call god anza kumuita mungu if your heart kama moyo wako has been clouded with the fear of giving umekuwa umejawa na hofu ya kutoa ask god muombe mungu to break that fear havunje na kuharibu huo uoga from this day kuanzia siku hii may the love of jesus upendo wa yesu fill your heart ukaujae ukaujaze moyo wako may the love of jesus upendo wa yesu and the love of his ministry na upendo wa huduma yake mara baba ya sinda rabo suraba may the lord give you the wealth of the kingdom Bwana akawapatie mali ya ufalme. May the Lord give you. Bwana awapatie the riches of the Gentiles. Utajiri wa mataifa. He kalabaya sola balaba. There's an anointing that is going to sit on you ladies. Kuna upako unaoenda kuwakalia wa mama. The anointing of giving upako wa kutoa the anointing of giving upako wa kutoa because if you can give from where you are kwa sababu kama unaweza toa kutoka mahali ulipo like the woman that had just a, a dinari kama mwanamke aliyekuwa na dinari tu god mungu will see ataona your heart moyo wako and release na aachilie into your life ndani ya maisha yako the glory of the kingdom utukufu wa ufalme kila siku kila saa umwamini inua mikono
make a vow before God. Lift your hands. Say it after me. This is a vow you are making. Say Lord Jesus. I give myself. To you. Holy. Everything. That I have. I give it to you. Whatever you need. That I own. I will give it to you. Lord. I make a vow today. That when you bless me. And make me a woman of glory. I will never turn away. I am a kingdom. I am a kingdom woman. I am a kingdom woman. And I will live for the kingdom. And from this day, I have become a kingdom provider. There will be no need in the house of God and in the house of those who preach to me I will never allow them to pray about things that I can provide oh God from this day make me a channel through which you will supply the needs in the house of God and in the house of your servants this is my vow I will never turn away from it. And I begin from now. In the name of Jesus. Now let me pray for you. I release upon your life. The spirit of giving. That anointing. That grace to give without measure, to give without fear, without a care about how your needs will be met. Let that anointing sit on you now. And my God. Na mungu wangu, my God mungu wangu, the grace I carry neema ebeba, the anointing of God in my life wa mungu mwangu, shall supply utatosheleza, without limit bila mipaka, the needs of your family mahitaji ya jamii yako, the needs of of your house Mahitaji ya nyumba yako. every desire in your heart Kina tamaniyo moyoni mwako. it shall be done to the glory of God Kwa jili ya utukufu wa mungu. receive it Bokea. receive it Bokea. Receive that anointing. Receive that anointing. Re receive it. I release. It is a spiritual thing. I release. You will never fear to give. I release that anointing. You will never be limited. You will give everything until you have nothing and God will fill your pockets again. And whatever you have lost, I prophesy the enemy will pay back seven times. Seven times. Seven times. 
Atalipa. Back. Atalipa. Seven times. Marasaba. Your daughters. Mabinti zako. And your sons. Na wana wenu. We'll call you blessed. Watawaita wabarikiwa. We'll call you blessed. Watawaita wabarikiwa. We'll call you blessed. Watawaita wabarikiwa. Some of your daughters have been praying to have a home. Baadhi ya mabinti zenu wamekoa kiomba ili kupata nyumba. Their prayer will be answered by your commitment today. Maombi yao yatajibiwa kwa kujitolea kwenu leo. And you will rejoice to be in their happy marriage. Na utafurahia kuwa katika ndoa zao za furaha. In the next 12 months I prophesy. Katika miezi 12 ijayo ninatabiri. That daughter. Huyo binti. That son. Huyo mwana. That has not begun a home and they need they need to have begun a home. Ambaye hajaanza nyumba na anapaswa kuwa ashaanza nyumba. This commitment kujitoa huku as open blessing in your family and nothing can stop it. Kumefungua baraka katika jamii yako na hakuna chochote kitakachozuia. Lift your hands and thank God. Inua mikono yako na mshukuru Mungu. Thank God. Mshukuru Mungu. You will live utaishi to see your grandchildren. Kuona wajukuu wako and your grand great grandchildren. Na vitukuu wako glorifying and serving God. Wakiwa wanamtumikia Mungu. Mighty God, we thank you. Mungu mkuu twakushukuru. We thank you. Twakushukuru. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Don't move. Stand there, let me. Let me, let me tell you the attitude Wacha ni kuambie ule mtazamo from now kuanzia sasa How many of you believe I'm a prophet Wangapi mnaamini kwamba mimi ni nabii What I am saying right now Kile nasema sasa hivi It is going to happen Kinaenda kutendeka Here and now Hapa na sasa Women wanawake like Mary Magdalene kama Mariam Magdalena women wanawake like Susanna kama Susanna women wanawake of substance wa, wa, wa mali God Mungu is making you one of them anakufanya kuwa mmoja wao as you leave this place God is going to give you an idea Mungu anaenda kukupatia wazo an idea wazo an idea wazo an idea wazo a business idea wazo la biashara you say i'm not a business woman nasema mimi si mwanamke wa biashara you will employ somebody who is a business woman to do that business for you. Utamwajiri mtu ambaye ni mwanamke wa biashara atakayokufanyia hiyo biashara. So many of you standing here. Wengi wenu mnaosimama hapa. In the next 12 months. Katika miezi 12 ijayo. You will be a millionaire. Utakuwa milionea. You will be Utakuwa. going around with me Ukienda hapa na pale pamoja nami. as we go preaching the gospel injili. and others will be doing business for you. Na wengine watakuwa you. You will be running Uta. a multi-million business. Utakuwa unaendesha biashara ya mamilioni mengi If you believe it 
kama unaiamini I want you to walk back in your seat like a millionaire Nataka utembee urudi kwa kiti chako kama milionea Some of you don't know how millionaires walk Wengine wenu hamjui mamilionea kutembea vipi Yes walk like a millionaire Ndio tembea kama milionea You are Yahweh 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 Ata eko testimony and uh, uh, it may sound like uh, it, sit down I, I, I she said I prayed for her when in microphone mbona haina kazi mnapeana microphone ambayo ina kazi kwa nini Eh hey, ina eh, ina style kwa inafanya 2016 eh, 2016 yeah. Ulikuwa ulikuwa na nini Nilikuwa natembea na crutches Ulikuwa natembea na crutches 2016 yeah. Alafu Ukaniombea hapa hapa eh. Ukapona instantly from a walking crutches Eh yeah, alafu ka professor ikasema go and enjoy your life Aha So from, from that day you have been enjoying your life. Mambo ya nyumba yakawa mazuri kabisa. kupata pesa. shillings per day. Kutoka kwa maji one day. Eh. So 2017 ukaja west. Nikaja west 2017. Eh. Ukasema ya kwamba yule amechokeshwa na utawala wa Saul na Yule amechokeshwa na nini? Na utawala wa Saul. Eh utawala wa Saul. So nikupata David. Mm. 400 men of David. Eh kasema ya kwamba Mungu amekwambia Simuongeze sauti kwa hii hii microphone Mungu amekwambia Mungu ukasema Mungu amekwambia u raise 400 men 400 men of David eh. na kila center west ni 50 millionaires mm. Mimi nilikimbia hapo mbele na mayazi walikuwa wamenielekea kazi ya kuku Aha So mimi sikumwambia nikaenda hapo mbele wa mama akaniuliza Lidi umesikia vile papa amesema nikamwambia eh <laughs> wakawa wana shaka wanaona uwezi eh so within 3 3 months nika nikaweza kutoa hiyo pesa mhm so nashukuru Mungu 2019 Mungu akaanza kupanga mipango yake my husband akawa promoted akaenda Nairobi aha alafu sasa akani kila kitu kwa nyumba ikatengenezeka sasa akasema tunajenga nyumba kwa hivyo uko na nyumba yako sasa 
sasa ni kona nyumba aha ambayo tayari kona parking na na unayakukodisha ama ni ni hiyo peke yake hapo juu kuna flat ya 4 unit na flat ya 4 unit aha wow, ambapo napokea pesa anapokeanga mshahara bila kufanya kazi alafu <laughs> leo asubuhi nikiamka mm nikasikia the spirit of god tangu jana usiku sijalala nimelala saa tisa mm nikasikia ni bebe hiyo hapo jua nimeweka kuku na nilikuwa nimeosha banda ndio ni niweke ni kuku zangu sawa so, nikasikia chukua hiyo 50000 Wewe ambao ndio hii? Eh wewe upelekee papa yake. Aya. Utoe ushuru. Nimepelekea nimele nime. Hivi. <laughs> Bwana akamwambia niletee hii pesa. As a thanksgiving. Thanksgiving kwa sababu alikuwa kwa anatembea na walking sticks Mungu akamponya akamfungulia milango alikuwa hana nyumba akawa na nyumba ya kwake alikuwa na shida katika kwa sababu amenieleza siniseme kwa haraka <laughs> alikuwa na shida kwa nyumba yake bwana akatatua nyi, e, shida bwanake alikuwa ako chini bwana akamuinua sasa hii hii ni thanksgiving kwa sababu kwa neno ya nabii Mungu amemuinua na kutoka sasa kwa sababu amekuwa mwaminifu kwa machache. Ah. Muangalie huyu anatoka West. Eh? Muangalie huyu anatoka wapi? West. Muangalie in the next three months, miezi mingapi? Tatu. Muangalie kwa sababu amejua siri amejua nini siri ambia jirani na wewe ujue nini siri eh uwe na nyumba zako unapokeanga una eh, rent tu ukiwa ukiwa unaendelea na maisha eh, mengine na ulipi rent mtu unaamka kwako hakuna kupigiwa makelele na ma landlord ambao hawaheshimu Mungu akwambia mimi maombi unaomba ome unaomba na mjalipa mjalipa rendi yangu hiyo maneno Mungu akukomboe na nyumba yako mtoke katika mtoke katika utumwa wa ma landlords yes. sema ninatoka katika utumwa wa ma landlord wangapi wametoka sema nimetoka sema mwaka huu mwaka huu nitakuwa kwangu nitakuwa kwangu ngapi watakuwa kwao eh hey, mwaka huu Mungu wa miujiza anafanya miujiza dada Mungu akubariki hey, na hiyo nimesema si umesikia pia eh hey. na na msichana wako ana anataka kuwa an international chef anataka kwenda Amerika ni mpish msichana wake ana, anataka kwenda kufanya kuanza ku, kupikia wazungu unajua ukipikia wazungu unakula pesa za dollars na na nyumba yako yote huyu mtoto wangu huyu na nyumba yako yote kutoka sasa na nyumba yako yote mambo yako yamebadilika. Mhm. Mm God has taken care of everything in your life. Don't worry. In Jesus name. You are blessed by God. In Jesus name. and I hope go enjoy your life in Jesus name ah tunatoa sadaka ya upendo tunatoa sadaka ya nini ya upendo wangapi wangapi 
Saa hii utapenda Yesu kama mwanamke. Si kama mwanaume. <laughs> Wangapi wametokwa na roho ya wanaume umesema imetoka haiko karibu na mimi. Leo hii kuna kuna watu watatoa vile ambao hajawahi kutoa na kuanzia leo kuanzia leo kuanzia lini leo miaka yangu ya huduma i don't sit down to prepare a message huwasiketi kuandaa ujumbe miaka yangu ya huduma I ask God for a message. Huwa ninamuomba Mungu anipatie ujumbe. Your story you ladies has changed. Majisi yenu enyi wanawake imebadilika. Everyone that has received this word. Kila mmoja ambaye amelipokea neno hili. Those desires that you have. Yale matamanio ulionayo. When we seek the kingdom and its righteousness na haki yake everything else we need kila kitu kingine tunachohitaji will be handed down to us kitazidishwa kwetu ukirudisha mawazo yako yote katika kumtumikia bwana bwana atashughulikia mambo yale mengine yote 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 sema amen kama unanisikia i want you to take an offering hata kama wewe ni mgonjwa siombi wagonjwa leo nitakuonyesha vile utapona utapona bila maombi na kama unataka nenda kwa daktari baada ya ma, baada ya vile ninavyosema nenda daktari akadhibitishe kwamba ile nimesema imetendeka ngapi wako tayari kiwa pesa yako iko katika katika simu unachukua baasha 991070 ni pay bill yetu account yetu ya hapa ni super sato ndio account hii sadaka ya upendo Toa sadaka ambayo hujawahi kutoa Upendo wako si ni mkubwa kiasi cha kuwa unaweza kupa Bwana chochote Mtolee Bwana sadaka ambayo hujawahi kumtolea Muonyeshe tu Bwana ninakupenda Nakupenda kiasi ambacho siwezi hata kueleza Inani aliambia Ashas mimi siwezi kutoa sadaka ya Ama mnasema hii ni ya dada peke yake. Simwache nifanyike ba, dada kwa leo. Ili ili tutimize haki yote. Mbona unanipatia si unipatia baasha ile ya sawa. Hii naona imeandikwa imeandikwa tithe. Si unipatia ile ambayo haijaandikwa tithe. Maana mimi ninatoa kitu kingine sio tithe amen thank you eh hii ya women ministry hii ni sawa aliye karibu na wewe mwambie the next testimony ndio ushuhuda unaofuatia will be mine takuwa ni wangu eh muangalie yule yako pande ile nyingine mwambie ule ushuhuda mwingine utakaotolewa in the next super sato itakuwa ya kwangu wangapi wanajua huku danganya wangapi wanajua huku danganya wangapi wanajua huku danganya Eh ndio. Usiseme maneno kama wanaume. Wanaume wanasemanga eh 
wanasema vitu na baadaye wanageuka wanasema ilikuwa ni ni madaimoni wanaume wanasemanga wanasemanga vitu na wanatafuta njia ya kujitoa katika maneno yao wanawake akisema yes anakaa mpaka anatembea na mgongosho hivi alitoka kwao <laughs> akazekea kwa wenyewe anatembea namna hii Uko tayari wa dada Wewe wewe unanitafsiri anga kila wakati Si si anaweza kusaulika hapo akitafsiri Ama mna mnasemaje Eh anaweza kusaulika Anaweza kusaulika akitafsiri maana nikienda west ananitafsiria nikienda south ananitafsiria nikija women eh, eh, conference ananitafsiria na anaweza kusaulika dada yetu akawa mtafsiri peke yake Eh. We are not using the two number ambao iko kwa hii baasha. Tunatumia ile. Tumeelewana? Usitumie hii till number imeandikwa hapa kwa hii baasha. Tunatumia ile. Kwa hivyo nimeambiwa niweze uh, ku clarify hiyo. Eh nilikuwa nataka uchukue nini uweke uweke nini ndio ndio sisaulike Asante baba <laughs> Eh naweza kusaulika hapa na wengine wana wanapokea na mtafsiri anaendelea kutafsiri watu vile wame wamebarikiwa Utakuwa na ushuhuda 3 months Amen. Eh. Yeah. Utasikia wao shuhuda, utausikia. Utasikia nini? Eh. Yeah. Utasikia ushuhuda. Inua sadaka yako. Let miracles happen. Let the sick be Let the sick be healed. Wagonjwa wakapone. As we release this offering. Tunapoachilia hii sadaka. Is a love offering to our God. Ni sadaka ya upendo kwa Mungu wetu. We are connecting to the grace. Tunajiunganisha na neema. That works in this house. Inayotenda kazi kwa nyumba hii. Lord, I pray. Bwana ninaomba. The heavens will open. Ambingu zitafunguka. The story of these women will be told by others. Hadithi ya wanawake hawa itasimuliwa na wengine. Ma because it is going to be great. Kwa sababu itakuwa kuu. When others hear it, they will glorify you. Wengine watakapoisikia watakutukuza. Let tumors disappear. Wacha vimbe zikatoweke. Let miracles of every kind happen. Wacha miujiza ya kila aina ikatendeke. Families be healed. Jamii zikapone. New families be birthed. Jamii mpya zikazaliwe. Promotions of every kind happen. Uh, kupandishwa cheo kwa kila aina kukatendeke. Businesses that will be so great biashara ambazo zitakuwa kuu be birthed zikazaliwe and above all na juu ya yote your kingdom will become greater and greater ufalme wako utafanyika mkuu na mkuu zaidi there will never be lack hakutakuwa na ukosefu in your house katika nyumba yako from now and forth 
kuanzia sasa na kuendelea and there will no there will not be any lack na hakutakuwa na ukosefu in any of the families represented here katika moja wapo ya jamii ambazo zimewakilishwa hapa in jesus name katika jina la Yesu amen amina amen amina the lord bless you bwana wabariki the lord keep you bwana waifadhi as you give your offering may his light shine upon you unapotoa sadaka acha nuru yake ikangae juu yako let the heavens wacha mbingu above you juu yako be open for your blessing zikafunguke kwa sababu ya baraka yako in jesus name kwa jina la yesu wewe ni mwema haufananishwi wewe ni mwema finishing what they are doing wakati mababu anakamilisha kile wanachokifanya i want us to read proverbs 11:24 nataka tusome mithali as we conclude this uh, this session proverbs 11:24 mithali 11:24 if uh, the media people can put it for us wanaweza kutwekea hapo juu It says there is one who scatters. Naye yule anayetawanya yet increases more. Hata anaongezeka zaidi. And there is one who withholds more than it is right. Na hata kuna yule anayeshikilia hata kama kiko sawa. But it leads to poverty. Lakini inaleta umaskini. The way to come out of scarcity, njia moja wapo ya kutoka katika uchache one way to come out of less njia moja wapo ya kutoka katika uchache au udogo one way to get out of poverty njia moja wapo ya kutoka katika umaskini is to give ni kutoa 
That is why giving is in the word of God. Diposa kutoa iko katika neno la Mungu. One who scatters yet increases. You know that is not uh, the the world philosophy or mentality. Basi hiyo sio filosofia ya watu wa ulimwengu. The world will tell you to keep. Basi ulimwengu utakwambia uweke. But the Lord tells you to scatter. Lakini Bwana anatuhimiza tukapate kutawanya. To give. Tutoe and you will increase the more na basi utaongezeka zaidi but the one who withholds na kwa yule anayeshikilia it leads to poverty basi inaleta umaskini you need to write that scripture somewhere where you write important things basi unastahili kuandika andiko hilo pale unaandika vitu vya muhimu and uh, it will be a reminder to you itakuwa ni kumbukumbu kwako praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe thank you very much papa asante sana baba and uh, the lord bless you for always bringing the word of god to us without withholding anything from us kwa kila mara kuleta neno la mungu kwetu bila kushikilia chochote our faith has been built basi imani yetu imekuzwa our lives have changed maisha yetu yamebadilika under the teaching that you bring to us chini ya mafundisho unayoleta kwetu and we thank god for you na tunamshukuru mungu kwa ajili yako thank you because you have not allowed any criticism or any uh, thing coming from the outside world to to stop you Asante kwa kutosikia vishawishi vyovyote ama vizuizi vyovyote kutoka kule nje kukuzuilia wewe kufanya kila ambacho unataka. Because we have not been stopped, we have not been stopped. Maana sisi hatuzuiliki na wewe hautazuilika. Praise the Lord. And Wana because time is going and I've told him to come back. Basi wakati umeenda mno lakini mwamwambia arudi tena. Uh, the women ministry told me to let him sit here for a bit. Basi huduma kina mama imenishawishi nimruhusu akae hapa I'm kidogo. I'm going to call the MC to take us to the next point. Basi nitamwita yule kiongozi wa mkutano atuelekeshe katika ukumbi. Let us clap as we receive Mrs. Kwake back Basi to the platform. Basi tunapomkaribisha mama Kwake katika ukumbi huu. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And have you been blessed? Je, umebarikiwa? Do you know you have been given a new name from today? Unajua umepewa jina jipya kuanzia leo. What is your name? Jina lako ni gani? A woman of glory. Mwanamke wa utukufu. Amen. Amen. Ladies let us keep our vows. Basi kina mama wacha tudumishe nadhiri zetu. What we have vowed before God. Kile ambacho tumeweka nadhiri mbele za Bwana. A vow is covenantal. Maana nadhiri we cannot break it. Hawezi kuivunja. Amen. Amina. Amen. Amina. Now at this time, katika wakati huu, we are going to do something very special. Tutaenda kufanya kitu cha cha muhimu and I'm going to usher in na tunaenda kumleta kwetu the woman of God who is going to usher us into that exercise. Yule ambaye atatuingiza katika kile kipao chengine. And I'm going to ask Mama Robina na muita Mama Robina to come aje and take it up from there na basi akuchukulie kutoka our hands together tuweke makofi yetu pamoja mama robina comes wakati mama robina anapokuja haleluya haleluya Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tumebarikiwa. Sana. I want to honor our papa. Nataka kumenzi baba yetu. Afternoon. Thank you for finding time to come and minister to us. Mchana wa leo kupata nafasi kuja kutuhudumia. We are so blessed. Tumebarikiwa mno. And now we know. Na sasa tunajua. And we have become. Kwamba tumefanyika. Women of glory. Wanawake wa utukufu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to honor all the our mama nataka kumenzi mama yetu and all our pastors wives na hata wake wetu wa wachungaji and now i want to call the lead leaders from every center nataka kuita viongozi wote viongozi wakuu katika kila kituo if they can come up here please wakapate kuja hapa juu 
Papa, thank you so much for blessing us. Asante sana baba kwa kutubariki. We are watching you today because Tuko of you. jinsi vile tulivyo kwa sababu yako. We have watched you, we have followed you. Tumekutazama, tumetembea na wewe. And you are indeed a father. Na hata hakika wewe umefanyika kuwa baba. You have wished as well. Na wewe umetuazia mema. And you have wish, you continue uh, wishing as well. Na hata umeendelea kutuazia mema. We thank God for you. Tunakushukuru Mungu kwa ajili yako. We thank God because we have a prophet in the house. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu tuko na nabii kati yetu. We have a father. Tunaye baba and we have a man of God. Na tunaye mtu wa Mungu. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, women ministry always stand by the word of God that you cast every year. Basi kina mama ama huduma kina mama hukimbia na yale maono ambayo yanatangazwa kila mwaka. As much as we serve God in our centers, hata kama tunahudumia Mungu katika vituo vyetu, but our, we stand on the word that you bring to us every year lakini tunasimama tunasimama na lile neno ambalo linaletwa kwetu kila mwaka as women ministry kama huduma ya kina mama and that has helped us not to struggle na hata hiyo imetusaidia sisi kutonangana whatever we desire to do kile tunachotamani kukifanya we are, it, it has been successful basi kimekuwa kikifaulu and we thank God so much for you na tunamshukuru Mungu sana kwa ajili yako and we, we stand in the word that says uh, in second chronicles 2020 tunasimama na neno la Mungu linasema katika mambo ya nyakati 2020 that when we believe in the prophet we shall prosper basi tutakapomwamini nabii sisi tutafanikiwa amen. amen and we thank god because we know that we are prosperous women ma tunamwamini tunamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu sisi ni wanawake ambao tunafanikiwa uh, here i have the lead, lead leaders of every center basi hapa mbele yenu niko na wale viongozi wa kila kituo we have Five out of six. Tuna watano kati ya sita. One is not here. Mmoja wao hayupo. And we have the lead leader that that leads them. That na, connects the, connects us together. Na basi tuna yule kiongozi mkuu ambaye anatuunganisha sisi sote pamoja. And I just want to call Li, Lilian. Lilian is the lead of the leads. Basi nataka kumuita, kumuita Lilian ambaye ndiye kiongozi wa wote. Just to introduce to us the lead leaders of every center. Basi akatuleteni kwetu viongozi wa kila kituo. Thank you Mama Robina. Asante sana Mama Robina. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Papa we thank you we thank you so much and Baba, we honor tuna you. Baba tunakushukuru na tunakuenzi. Some of us we are what we are. Wengine wetu tuko jinsi vile tulivyo. Because of connecting to that grace. Kwa sababu ya kuunganika na hiyo neema. I know we have a lot of testimonies. Baba tunajua tuna shahuda nyingi mno. Especially me I have testimonies. Hata hasa hasa mimi nina shahuda nyingi. But I don't want to waste time to go to the testimonies that I have. Lakini sitaki kuchukua wakati kwa zile shahuda nilizonazo. When God allows. Wakati mwingine Mungu akiruhusu. I will testify. Nitatoa shahuda. Because I have a testimony. Maana ninao shahuda. Amen. Amen. Now without wasting time bila kupoteza muda uh, these are the lead leaders from all the centers hawa ndio wale viongozi wa kila kituo that we work hand in hand ambao tunatenda kazi moja kwa moja to make things move kufanya mambo yakaenende and we have uh, some who are still seated there i would na like to call upon them na kuna ambao wameketi pale naomba niwaite there are the three leaders the executive secretary and the assistant please just join us here basi msimame mkapate kuja so that we can move faster